Welcome to part three of The Light Was Yours, the visual audiobook. My name is Zoe Lola, poet and author of The Light Was Yours. Today we are starting on page 29 and we are finishing part one of the book, Love Poems. As always, I will be choosing one of these poems to analyze more in depth later this week. So if you have any preference, please comment below. If you want to read along with me or read ahead, you can always order your own copy of The Light Was Yours from Amazon in paperback or ebook format. Without further ado, let's get started with part three. There is a constant dissonance within me, a feeling that I'm always between two things, not doing enough and doing too much, that I am in the place where hope and doubt dance and love and grief sing, where the choice to say something or not triggers a chain of dominoes that bends to where I cannot know. Fanning his flames was her favorite game, like running from dogs, rabid to chase. The wind was like water to daylily, a cold that imbues immortality. Don't be shy about how you love me. Don't downplay our romance. Our laughs, our cries, our made-up games were no subtle happenstance. Though that, the rules may prefer, fear not my family. It's best they know their eldest girl was loved so fervently. My life was good, is better now, not from these metrics, views, degrees. All of that meant nothing if you couldn't be by me. I saw that you were empty, so I tried to fill you up. Through makeshift bouts of therapy, I poured cup after cup. You must have had a leak because no matter how much I gave, you never could quite put your demons in their grave. You knew my efforts wouldn't work, and still you let me pour. You knew just what to say to keep me giving more. I hope you learn to love yourself. My hopes are selfish, but they're selfless too, because the only way I can thank you for making me realize so fervently that I love and like myself is to show you that you can love and like yourself too. And not just that you can, but that you must, or there's no point to anything else in this world. And no matter how beautiful or kind or smart you may be, you'll never appreciate it like I do. But I'm irrelevant here because it really is about you and it's up to you too. Those were the selfless reasons. But the selfish reason is that I know you can't love me, not really, until you love yourself. And deep down, maybe not that deep. I want you to choose to love me after you learn that unconditional love for yourself. The possessive soul, unpossessed, mocks the lover and holds her close the way a witch detains a daughter. Left with just a mirror, she tricks the light to see him in herself. Who is that? He asks of the projection. She calls for introspection. It fosters her devotion. The reflection is his trigger, just a flicker, like the intermittent fast when he wants her, like the high from the tower where the world's at her hands. Now he's over it, like the rest of his pasts. Stuck in winter, not evergreen, loveless bites, full of frost, mistletoe with friends turned foes, iceless rinks, cold hellos, no presents, just a glimpse of pasts, the bow she wrapped, now sharp as glass, the bells don't fade, sound the alarm, trapped like a tree in their glass jar. Sometimes I wake up when the night is black and know that dawn's not far, or with eyes still closed I reach cross sheets and touch the dead of night. Sagacity prepared me when our last hour was near. She packed my bags before the last wave crashed on morning tide. Pursuit escape, it wasn't clear, as feet with wings took over. My inner guide must have guessed we wouldn't last forever. I ran laps around that track thinking you'd meet me halfway. I jumped hurdle after hurdle, dreamt you'd award a white bouquet. I could see you the whole time, so thought I must be getting closer. I guess I didn't realize you stood centered in that circle. Our paths would never cross, oh, not for my lack of trying. You'd only have me if I cheated, and in my pleading, you forgot me. I collapsed on that false bottom floor and swore I'd forget you too. But my prose, poems, and epithets are even now addressed to you. Let down your guard, she means no harm, release your resolute. She intends only to love you, your counterpoints are moot. Your grudges are no match for her, like a sister with her kin. 
She forgave you after stabbing her. Why won't you let her in? For years or months, she'll wait for you, and now, for just a week, she'll mouch with horns around your fort for that companionship she seeks. My golden boy, was your light just for me? Or did you race on the chariot of Helios, touching everyone who's curious? My golden boy, with eyes of coal, dark and hot, you took me soaring with just that glance that beckoned me without a nod. My golden boy, placed in the sky because everyone loved you, I liked to watch them watch you. They all knew you were mine. My golden boy, sudden like sunrise, God sent you to me in a charming disguise. My golden boy, who made daisies grow, just so I'd walk past them on my way home. My golden boy, who's she who claims you? They whispered to me that she wears you at night. My golden boy, you call her Celine and say, do not worry, it's a misunderstanding. My golden boy, you run a dangerous course. I've never asked you to stay. Your loiter turns life to dirt. My golden boy, an asteroid has touched me with sharp, ragged teeth. He called you a friend. My golden boy, I stomped him from your sky. How wayward and fickle to take what is yours. My golden boy, you say he can have me? You say I am lying? All for Celine. My golden boy, she meant nothing to me. Because of your coaxing, you can't be sincere. My golden boy, is this how you leave me? With gifts of your parting, keep your shallow sorries. My golden boy, my heart is breaking. Your core is mercenary. You've grown bigger yet frigid. My golden boy, you meant to blind me, luring me out there and burning my skin. My golden boy, is this how you bury? Get your own hands dirty. I set myself free from my golden boy. That was part three of The Light Was Yours, the visual audiobook. Next week, we are moving on to hate poems, which just might be my favorite section of the book. So I look forward to reading that with you all. Like I said at the beginning of the book, if there's any poem you want me to analyze more in depth, please comment below and I will consider. Also, be sure to go look at my other analyses and stay tuned for next week. Subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss it. Bye.